Hi, welcome to Anybody Who Ain't Anybody. My name is Tim Zykowski. Today we're in the lobby of the Troy Marriott, just outside Detroit, and I'm sitting here with an amazing comic, Geechee Guy. Geech, hey. welcome to the show, man. How are you? Very gracious you to be here. Thank you. Yeah, what brings you to town? I'm in town working. You're working, all right. Yes. Any I'm, place in particular? Oh, I'm at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Detroit here in Royal Oak, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. He's an amazing guy, Mark Ridley. Yeah, yeah. We started out. I started out with him years and years ago. Yeah, that's the first time I ever got on stage was Ridley's. Yeah, yeah. I was first time I ever got on stage was Ridley's. Was Tim Allen hanging around the club? Oh yeah, you? Tim Allen was right there. Yeah, it was Tim Allen, Tim Lilly, Lowell Sanders. Gosh, yeah, Jeff Brannon. That's how I met you through right, Brannon. Right, Brannon right. and Hildebrand sitting in a bar. Right, right. And I saw uh, I saw Br Hildebrand a couple weeks ago. Out in yeah, Vegas. out in Vegas. He's working the Riviera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of times I've uh, flown out and spent uh, three or four days hanging around while he's working the Riv, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's fun. It's a, it's a fun town. You live there. I live there now. Yeah, we have our show out there. It's been going about, it'll be six months tomorrow is our anniversary out and there. And you've been getting some good reviews? Been getting great reviews, yeah. And you're did. the creator and the director. Is that yes, I'm the, yes, and I'm, and I'm in it. I'm, and I, you're starring. I, I star yeah, it. yeah, you're yeah. It's a th it's a three man show. It's a comedy play, and and describe it. It's called the Dirty Joke Show, and it takes place in the alley behind the comedy club, and um, three comics come out after the show, and spend an hour before the next show, just entertaining each other and oh, telling yeah. each other jokes. So the yeah. audience gets to see this. The background. Stuff. Yeah, they kind of they they get to see us entertaining ourselves. We have a party every Friday out at our show it in Vegas and um, the Friars Club and we get about 30 comics every week. Well, we've had Carrot Top, we have George Wallace, we've had Bobby Collins, we've had Paul Rodriguez, we've had Ron Shock just Ron point, Schock, he mentioned it on Facebook. Oh yeah, I talked to him yesterday. And yeah. then, um, who's the other? Oh, Mason Jonathan's there almost every week. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, to me, that's the fun part of being, being a comic that most people don't have any idea about. It's right. just getting together and so many, do you guys ever get together? That's like what the show is about. It's, it's the idea to give the, the audience that opportunity to hang out to, with comedians. Yeah. Because anytime I've done it with, you know, any, anytime I've drug along one of my civilian friends, you know, with us, with a bunch of comics, right. they inevitably the next day would just call me back and say how much of a good time it they was have. A, and yeah. that, that was just so cool. And well, that's what's neat. We, it's kind of twofold out there. We have the show that is the show about that, and then we have the actual party. The actual party every Friday, yeah. because you know there's t dozen comedy clubs out there, and there's you know there's probably thirty different comedians in Vegas every week. So you oh, just, and it, yeah, and they just keep circulating. Yeah, so you just put the word out every every Friday to come to come right. to the show, come to the party, and yeah, then um, yeah. so we get a lot of people coming to seeing people they haven't seen in years. It's, it's really oh, a neat oh, thing. Well, that's one of the things too about. You know, you start off with a group of guys like you know Hildebrand and and uh, Leo DeFore and mm -hmm. and Brandon, and then you guys are all headliners, so you're never in the same club anymore. Right. So you right. don't get to, you're always in different cities. That's the main get... thing. Is like, yeah, when I used to start, that's the thing. I started out in '85, so the guys I used to open for were, you know, were Dennis Millers and Bruce Baums and yeah, yeah. Um, Gary Shandling, nice, and um, Bill Kirkenbauer, Vic Dunlop, um, Gallagher, um, but guys like that, Dennis. Miller, Dennis Wolfberg, you know, Rita Rudner, Paula Poundstone. So I've really, I was really lucky to be able to. Well, you, you got Lenny those Clark. are so I've met maybe half of those people. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Wolfberg, I, he died before my. my right, family, right, but, yeah. He, he but just passed away a long time. funny. He just had a way about him that you just can't Robert believe. Wall, he, oh, Robert Wall, Arliss. Oh, Robert Wall, yeah. Bill yeah. Maher. You're being, uh, coming known as King of the One Liners. Yes. What, what's your thoughts about that? Is that like, I love it. I love that. It's great. I, I think, um, I, it, yeah, I, I'm honored. I mean, geez, I'm still Henny, laughing at that joke. Penny Youngman was. Um, it was man. amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. And I, I like the, uh, just the fact that a lot of people don't. You know, I don't have a problem with the fact that people aren't telling jokes anymore because actually it gives me an, a niche, a niche that I'm. I can be the joke guy because yeah, there really yeah. aren't people. Like with this dirty joke show, people have heard dirty jokes all their life, but you know, we're you know, it's almost a taboo to tell them on stage. I mean, comics say you know, it's almost ooh, you can't tell. Oh, you can't tell a joke. Right, yeah, right. yeah. So you know, that's the only place they can hear them is from their uncle and stuff. And they come to the show and hear for three professional comics. Yeah. Rattle off two hundred of them in an hour. I mean, yeah. they're 
they they you know like I said their their stomachs hurt when they, they leave right these. right and it's because they like it they, that's what's other fun is the comics you know you, you call them up and tell them about the show and they don't really quite get it but they come to watch it and geez two minutes Two they, minutes into it, they're, they, they're ready they're, to jump up and. Oh, they'd they, rather they'd rather they, be there than where they're sitting. Oh yeah. Although oh, they love def- sitting there watching. Oh it. sure, they're, they're yeah, ready. They're yeah. well, but but they're. Yeah. Yeah, they want to jump up. And it's it's really it's really taken off. It's it's really exciting because, like I said, I've been doing this twenty five years and it's fun. But you know, every, it's very fun the whole time. But you know, even even fun things get old after twenty five years. Oh, so it's oh, really yeah. neat to. I mean, there's some stuff happening with this show that's just yeah. brand new to my career. I, I, it's just really a fun ride, and I'm looking forward to the shows every single night. So now. It, it is really more theater. Well, it, yes, in, it, a, it's, in a sense, it's, it's theater-ish. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's it, becoming scripted. That's it, what I was going to ask. It's becoming you. very pretty. Well, it's hard to explain. Well, it's not really that hard to explain. I have a great way to explain it. It's like a lava lamp. Everything that you need for a great show is in that lava lamp. All the 200, 300 jokes are in there, all the people, they're locked in that lamp. You don't need anything else for okay. a great show. It's all locked in there. Okay. But every time you turn it on, it's a little different show. Oh, okay, so it is a little it's different. Never, it's never the same show right. the same time. I mean, with a, with a lot of it, the bubbles are gonna be different, but it's that same stuff that makes those bubbles right. that are locked in that lamp. Right. And that's kind of what it is. We have everything we need to make that great show locked in there, but every show we do is just, he'll tell, I mean, you know, when we've got 70, 80 jokes a piece, you know, he'll tell one that he didn't tell the last month that reminds me of one I didn't tell that brings us on a just, whole new, right, it just, it'll yeah, pop it just in. shoots it off the wrong, and then we come back immediately, you know, eventually and stuff. We kind of, we know where it has to be, yeah, but it's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's probably yeah. 20 to 30 percent, very, it's very fluid, very like lava. It's, it's very molten and it's very, you know, the material is there. Geech, it, Amazing. Oh, my pleasure. Very for, appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You know, yeah, wonderful anytime. for you to be here, and I will. Uh, I'm glad we finally got to do it after. You all know, this, and all this I, time. I will. Um, Several miss. I will take as good a care of this starts. as I can. And, oh, no worries. Yeah. Uh, before you leave, let me get your contact information. Okay. Uh, Ichi guy. All right. Thank you. Take care. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Okay. Good.